hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. Um, this is a message I was guided to deliver right now. My guide, Celia, was very adamant that we deliver this message. So I am not sure who this message is for, but um, we are um, we're just delivering it. She said um, it, it was an urgent message that needed to be brought forth right now. So um, here we are. Please um, listen. It could be one line or the entire reading, please just take what resonates and leave the rest. But know that this is a urgent message for someone. Um, the first cards out are the no place like home. And then you get the card of the go the distance card. And the bottom of the deck is the blessed card. So know that you are um, blessed and protected. Um, and then we are going to get some... Um, cards and then we're going to use the Archangel Michael for for guidance so you says so um we are just going to see like the energy flowing right now is like really like bounce me off my chair so um it's it's definitely an important message for someone so um what does the viewer um who this message is for need to know right now So we're just going to cut them and take six cards. So we're doing that. So we cut it and we're taking the eight of wands, the two of cups, the ten of cups. It's a pretty good message. The hierophant, the justice card, and the king of cups. So, um... If you have been trying to manifest connection, a new person, um, we feel like the universe is saying, be open and be aware, be happy. Um, I see these, these, um, these pink cards and she's like, you know, those are saying as you're happy that me those messages are going to come and the happier you are, the faster they're going to come and really bring in, you know, this, this energy you're seeking, um, you know, that that love and that connection. And and with that, she says, you know, this is a contract with that person. Uh, it could be marriage or just a higher level of commitment or maybe just meeting and, and beginning that soul contract. So if, if you're meeting someone new this weekend or if it, we feel like if, it, if it's someone new, it is past life, but this is someone... That is no place like home. This is someone you know. Um, we feel like this is somebody that maybe, you know, she's saying definitely twin flame energy, um, she, but she's saying definitely past life. So somebody you may not know or may not have been in contact with is going to come back because this is somebody you have a contract with to go the distance. You, you are, you know, this person is home to them. You are blessed when they're in your company. Um, and she said we're going to get a couple cards from the bottom of the deck. We're getting the Ten of Swords, the King of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the King of Pentacles with the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. And that Six of Cups is about somebody from the past coming back. And like I said, that could be somebody from your past or past life. Um, but some you're going to get new clarity. She's like, you're going to get new clarity. Maybe somebody had walked away in the past. And they're having a heart chakra activation. And they're going to come back and be in a completely different energy. Are you prepared for somebody to be in, in, in that energy? that In this energy. In this happy energy. In this energy of this is a committed relationship. This is a balanced, equal relationship. Are you ready? She said, are you ready? Um, We are going to get... um. She said we're going to get some cards on timing because she felt like this was urgent that I put this message out right now. So we are, um, we're going to ask, ask for some timing on this message. Um, because we feel like what, once this, um, this communication happens and she says the communication with that page of cups, it's going to be, you know, maybe just something that you thought when pigs fly or that was totally out of the realm of happening. Um, that it happens, you know. Um, and, 
and the card for timing is the ten of wands so we feel like that when you when you put the burdens down and, and when you decide um that is what you want she's like put the burden down and stop worrying about everything else you have to carry and worry about is this going to make me happy it does this make me feel happy does this make me feel balanced does this make me feel fulfilled And I feel like as soon as as soon as you decide that you have to pick your happiness, um, it's right there. Um, she says there's one more. We're getting another card for something. She said there's something else. So um, we are going to see. Um, okay. And the cards for the next part of the message are the five of swords. And the Three of Cups. So I feel like maybe there has been um, some new clarity on a third-party situation. Have you been working on clearing up some third-party energy? Um, maybe a third party from that person's energy is leaving. Uh, but we feel like there's a change because that five is about change. Change with, um, with the third-party energy. So and then the... Um, Next part of the message is the seven of wands and the temperance card. So as you've had your, as you have put your boundaries up and found your balance and what is best for you, the other person has decided to end whatever third party situation is going on and deciding to take um, an, a new, um, a new path towards you. Um, Something, something that you've actually been waiting on. And as you have got into your self-love and found your self-worth, this person is coming back. So that's the King of Pentacles twice um, in the reading. So that is husband material. She can't help but say, you know, that is husband material. So um, are you are you ready to manifest in your life partner? Because with this King of Pentacles, that's what I definitely feel. Are you ready to manifest in your person? Because it seems like you've been doing this self-love. Because um, we do have the Ace, the Two, and the Three of Cups. So we feel like you have been making progress. We have the Two of Cups twice. Um, and the King of Pentacles twice. So that is um, huge energy, so you're saying. So whoever um, is maybe deciding to give up hope on their person, um, know that as you do that and gain some detachment, um, it looks like that communication is coming easy. Um, and we are going to get some guidance from Archangel Michael. And the bottom of the deck for Archangel Michael is your prayers are being answered. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will come, although perhaps in a form you didn't expect. And then we get the cards of the way forward is open. You're not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. I will guide you to the personal and spiritual freedom. And then you get the card of be a light to others. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. And then the final message is stay the course. Don't panic. You're not on the wrong path. You've just had a bumpy start. Learning from your experiences and keep going. So know that everything is happening in the right timing. Your, your prayers are being answered. You're on the right path. Um, and then the next card is the recognize the signs from above. Um, no, I don't think I've ever seen this card before. So we're going to read it as well. Angels are sending you messages now. But you are too distracted to notice. Stay alert and open to divine guidance. So are you are you getting the messages? Because for whoever this message is for, your, your prayers are being answered. And as, as you have faith and trust in this is what I have asked for, this is what is going to come. And, and, you know, focus on other things that are relevant and important to you right now. As you do that, like, she's like, as, as you step into your happiness, as you step into that happiness, that though, that communication is going to come. And we feel like that is definitely somebody past life. And that's happened because you are stepping into your energy. You are working on 
managing your energy, your financial stability. Um, it does look like everything is, um, is very blessed. She said, it's blessed. Just know you are very blessed and this situation is blessed. And are, are you ready? She's like, we're going to ask, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to bring in your person? Are you ready to bring in that committed relationship, that life partner, that person that, that you have a connection with? You have past life connection with this person. This person is somebody you have known before. Um, that was the guidance from Celia. You have known this person before. Um, not sure. Um, so we are just going to put this message out because she said this needed to get out. Like She's like... Do it now. So whoever needs to hear this message, just know that um, this is on the way. Have faith and know that this is on the way. It's not, this is not a, this is not a marathon or this is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It is about the journey. Every day is the journey. You have to find a way to feel blessed and happy in the journey because truly, are you ready to be blessed and happy? Because that's coming. That's trying to come in so much. Are you ready? Are you ready for your person? Are you ready?